Here at CERTIS, phase one of the in vivo testing process is the initiation study. The goal is to determine whether your tissue specimen will successfully grow in the mice. This requires a fresh tissue sample, which is usually obtained by biopsy or resection surgery. The larger the specimen, the better the odds of a successful initiation study. The ideal specimen size is one to three cubic centimeters. Your tissue specimen will be quickly and safely transported to our laboratory in San Diego. Depending on the specimen size, CERTIS scientists will implant up to five first-generation mice with your primary tissue. Multiple engraftments in several mice increase the chance of a successful initiation study. Any additional tissue will be cryogenically preserved and stored. Now, we wait to see if implanted tissue grows within the mice. Sometimes, tiny nodules will appear within the first few weeks, but it may be a few months before our scientists can confirm that nodules are cancerous tumors. Why the wait? Because different tumors grow at different rates. More aggressive tumors typically do grow faster. Some tumors, however, fail to engraft, which means they stop growing or don't grow at all. If initiation fails, we will be unable to perform a pharmacology study. Assuming tumors do grow, we will continue to phase two, the pharmacology study. It will be important for you and your oncologist to quickly decide how many anti-cancer therapies you wish to test so we know how many mouse avatars to develop for phase two, the pharmacology study. That's the initiation study phase from beginning to end. Watch the next video in this series, phase two, the pharmacology study to learn more.